Hello, how are you? <clears throat> how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. ¿Qué tal, Carlita? ¿Cómo sigue? Mal del ojo siempre. ¿Y eso qué habrá sido? Como que tengo una infección, me dijo el doctor. Ándale. Ajá, pero no, no sé, como a mí antes, hace como tres años seguido me daba herpes. Mm. Y se me había logrado controlar un tiempo, pero siempre me da problemas el ojo. No, pero si en el ojo hay que tener mucho cuidado. No, sí, sí, tengo mucho cuidado, más que si sí, estoy a punto de perder la vista de un ojo. Sí, 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 sí. No, sí, eso Ajá. es bien peligroso que se, que se llegue a, al ojo. Es súper. Sí, no, sí, me lo cuido sí. bastante por eso. Estoy bien pendiente. Sí. Bueno, Dios quiera, ¿verdad? Que, que vaya mejorando. Sí, ya voy mejorando un poco. Me duele bastante, pero voy mejorando. Vaya, eso. Gracias. Fue... Eso es bueno. Sí. Más con las arenas que están viniendo ahorita del Sahara, no termina de ayudar eso. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo bueno es que ocupa lentes, eso algo le. Sí, también. Protege, ¿verdad? Sí. Y a seguir cuidándose. Porque hoy sí. no nos queda más que andar con mucho cuidado con tanta cosa. Sí, sí. Fíjese que también <coughs> creo que es una secuela del COVID. Que desde que me dio COVID, ya no siento que ya no veo igual. Sí, es probable, ¿verdad? Que también eso tenga algo que ver. Sí, siento que veo más, más borroso que antes. Y es que como la verdad que esa cosa sí que afecta un montón de cosas. Afecta un montón. Entonces eso. Sí, ahí porque es... me ha quedado bastante dolor en las articulaciones. Bastante en las manos, bastante dolor de espalda, la vista también. Yo creo que el COVID me lo afectó más. Imagina hay gente que le cae el pelo que le da la verdad de, de que el pelo le, se le cae o que le queda doliendo la cabeza, problemas para respirar, pero Dios quiera que vaya evolucionando bien, Carlita, y a vitaminarse, ¿verdad? Para sí, eso estoy haciendo. Que todo vaya mejorando para bien. Sí. <coughs> bueno, vamos a ver, Adriana, here. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana, Alicia. Present teacher. Los oigo lejos. Déjenme ver el volumen. Oh, shit. Oh, no, Aquí está. Pero se me escuchó, teacher. Sí. Y ya me di más volumen. <ríe> Aquí a la compu. Es que ayer estaba oyendo, revisando unos videos de unas clases y, y ya era muy noche, entonces le bajé volumen. Va, pero sí, ya los oigo muy bien. Carlos Josué. Hi, teacher. Hi. Este, todavía voy en tráfico. Ahí le aviso cuando llegue a la casa. David. Okay, okay David. Gracias, teacher. Bueno. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué no está, ¿verdad? No. No, no, no. No here. Mm -hmm. Vaya, David. David in traffic. Diego. Diego, Diego. No here, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Elda Cristina, Elmer, Elmer Fabricio, Gemma Carolina, J. 
Jessica Lisette. Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Eh, estaré de oyente la primera hora. Ok, José Alfredo. Eh, Karen. Present teacher. José Alberto, present. Ahí, 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 como que, oh, me salté un nombre. José Alberto. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Janet. Karen. Present teacher. Es Karen. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie, no here. Eh, Carla. Present teacher. Ok, Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Nice, Nubia. Oscar. Oscar, Oscar. Edwin, no se me ha puesto el nombre completo ahora. Ya lo corrijo, Tich. Excelente. Vamos a ver, Oscar Mauricio. No here, Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle, por ahí la vi. Grace Michelle. No. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Nice. Vaya, I'm going to call the, the ones that didn't say present at the beginning if in case somebody connected later. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Eh, Diego. Edwin Mauricio, no, ya está. Elda Cristina. Elda. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Elmer. Gemma Carolina. Jessica Lisette. Karen Stephanie. Oscar. Rebeca. Rodrigo. Grace Michelle. No. Creí que estaba Grace, pero no, ¿verdad? Vaya. Ok, bueno. Let's begin. Now it's ready. It's ready, 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 ready to share. <clears throat> well. Um, I'm going to share the screen. Today, uh, this is our class number 20. ¿Qué? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué número es? Who tells me? 20. Uh -huh. hey, ¿Qué número son? ¿Qué número de clases hoy? Hello, teacher. Ajá. Estoy solita. Estoy solita. Qué barbaridad. I don't remember, teacher. No, teacher. Estoy it's solita. I don't know exactly what class, what number is this, but I know. <laughs> what number class? Yes, When do we finish? Next Monday, to the next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. How many classes? Wednesday. Next Tuesday, yes. What time, how many classes do we have in this course? You said that 25. we have five more. We have 25. And if we finish on Tuesday, what class is today? 23? Yeah. 23. 23. Okay. 
Exactly. This is class number 23, right? And today we're going to be talking about the future, how to use will, how to use will to talk about the future. And hopefully we have time to talk about how to use the present progressive also, right? If no, we talk about the present progressive tomorrow. Tell me, you have two questions here. Is it only new employees, new employees, no employees, man. new empl <laughs> employees who need training? Only I new employees that. need training? And the next question, what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Hmm? A ver. First question. What do I you think that not only the new employees need a training because we have to actualize um, things and things change. So we have to be a, oh my God, actualizar. <laughs> updated. Yeah, you need and, to be updated, definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely, we need to be updated, right? And well, we can get updated through trainings. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is necessary. And for your, for the, oh my God, el desempeño, pero me voy a buscar la palabra, desempeño. For, why do we need training? To improve. Definitely to improve, right? So do you think that somebody that has been working for 10 years, 15, 20, 25 years in a place needs training? Mm -hmm. Why? A lot of people teacher because sometimes people who have 15 or 20 years doing the same thing and um, maybe they think that they know everything or they know the way that the things have uh, works but uh, things change the world is changing and I know that some things uh, always going to be in in one way, but you can change the form of the way you do it to get the same goal, but you can change it the way you do it. And it's in the, the people who work with, uh, next to you, um, maybe sometimes you have new coworkers that are, that are younger than you. So they are more creative, um, I don't know, but it's it's very important. Definitely, definitely. So it doesn't matter, right? If you have been working in that place for 15, 20, 25 years, that uh, the things are done in a different way, right? Things can work in a different way. Now, a uh, not everything is as it used to be que 10, 20 years ago. Things have changed. I think uh, when people have a lot of time working in a, a specific job, they obviously win experience. Definitely. But young people came to the, to the places with uh, new ideas that can make efficient and efficient Efficient, yes. Efficient. Efficient, efficient uh, the, the activities. Mm -hmm. So you need to refresh ideas for a, give a, a plus to the job. So you, you, as young people and people who has a lot of time in this, in the, in that place, uh, need to complement because old people have the experience and young people have new ideas. So yeah. it's a compliment. And like sometimes, a, sometimes like I, 
Yes, sometimes that uh, that thing of those kind of things uh, create a disagree uh, uh -huh. between the people because uh -huh. a disagreement disagreement uh -huh. because uh, people don't want to change and young people don't have the way to explain how to uh, how to create uh, better ideas. Or probably they don't have the confidence, right? Because they feel like, no, but she's been here for such a long time. How can I tell her that things can be done in a different way? So, mm -hmm. but re remember yesterday we were, we were talking about teamwork, right? And when teamwork happens, uh, that thing of bringing uh, the experience from one side and the new fresh air from the other side complements and to get a better a better, a better way right of developing your job definitely okay now let's see the second question what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training. An employee, not a new employee or an old employee, but an employee, anyone. What do you do? Imagine you're the manager and an, and an employee comes to you saying, hey, listen, we need some training about this and this topic. So what do you do? What do you do as a manager? I will look for uh, for the way that the workers have that they want because uh -huh. he is showing or the person is showing interest in in something in work in in improve the the performance so. It's nice and I will help him or help her to, to look for that. Okay. Will you create opportunities for training? Remember that was like one of the topics we were talking about one of these days, creating opportunities, right? For training. And if the employee wants the training, oops, that's even, a better, right? Because that means that the employee is interested in learning uh, what you're going to teach him. Okay, great, great. Well, let's move to the conversation now. Check. Um, we have here Diego and Stacy, and let's read the conversation. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new service. It says major tasks of the position. Um, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday morning. Aquí le vamos a tachar esto. Porque cuando usamos un día de la semana y una parte del día, no lleva in de, right? According to grammar. So you say, okay, let's have a short training next Saturday morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Now, get ready to read. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. Uh -huh. We will need, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position. It says major tasks of the position. 
Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly. Ah, uh, servers, servers are, are in charge of handling food correctly. correctly. And processing payments correctly. And process and payments, payments correctly. correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. Don't, Don't forget, forget servers, servers have, have to, to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. I think we need to I help them with that. them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. Grooming, Grooming and, personal and personal appearance. appearance. They look a bit messy. They look, they a, look bit a bit messy. messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday morning. Okay, let's okay. have a let's short have training a next short Saturday training morning. Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. I will, I will organize, organize everything, everything and you send, and you send them, them an email, email to let them, let them know. know. Excellent. Now, I'm going to send you to work in pairs and then you will have this. Okay, first read the conversation and then check the chart that they are talking about, right? This is the chart, the, the chart they are talking about. Here, uh, they have all the activities that these people should do, right? So they have to know how to do. Check, it says complete the training needs analysis chart using the information from the box. You had handling credit cards, it's difficult for me Set other orders by picking up and delivering patrons. Choices from barn kitchen, kitchen manager, Jimmy Marshall, practical training in restaurant during off hours, September, Saturday 10th. And the last one, grooming and personal appearance. So what you're going to do after you practice the conversation is come and complete the training needs analysis. Okay, so you have the name of the person, the employee's name, you have the date and you have the, uh, the, the job or the position the person has and you have the okay, major tasks of the position, some solutions to give and also, what other areas would you like to improve, right? Uh, so remember, read the conversation, practice the conversation, check pronunciation, because that's the purpose, right, of the conversation. Uh, check the pronunciation, and then you complete the chart. Okay? Any questions there so far? Questions? No? No questions. ¿Por qué andan tan calladitos ahora? ¿Qué les pasa? Es que es viernes, teacher. Como que algo me dijo que eso me iban a decir. It's Friday, teacher. Hoy sí es viernes. Hoy sí es viernes. Nosotros estamos diciendo que es viernes desde el martes, ¿verdad? Que es viernes y es viernes y es viernes. No, hoy no es viernes. Sí. Hoy día de COVID no nos pagaron lo que nos tocaba. No, mentira. Día de pago para los que ganan el 15. Vaya, tienen pisto, así es que hablen. Va. Ahí vamos, los voy a. Platiquemos, teacher. Pues sí, tienen pisto, tienen que estar contentos. Que lo voy a mandar en pairs. Solo vamos a ver, tengo a José, Alfredo y a David. In, in virtual. Grace, no sé si está en clase. Oye, yo haciendo el gran puño de grupo, espérense. Voy a mandar en. Grace, Grace, no, ¿verdad? No está. Va. Ok, vamos a hacer cinco grupos entonces. Vamos a ver cómo quedamos. Carlos, Josué y eh, José, Albert, Alfredo. Y Lisette, José Alfredo está de oyente. Ana, Rosy, and David. David está de oyente, oíme. 
Oigan, oigan, les digo, oigan. De Edwin and José Alberto here. Adriana, Jessica, Lisette y Nubia. Y Karen, Janet con Carla Lorena. Ahí estamos. Muy bien. No, no está Grace, ¿verdad? Va, ok. Bueno, there we go. ¿Estamos, cabales? Queda eh, un grupo de tres y dos grupos de tres que tienen oyentes, Sanchi. ¿Verdad? Los demás son grupos de tres normales. Bueno, let's go. Remember, practice the conversation and then check vocabulary, check pronunciation and everything, and then complete the chart. Try to join. Vamos, Carlos, Josué, Jessica. Nice. Yeah. Vaya, ahorita comparto. Mm, hay que practicar la, la conversation primero, teacher. Sí, yes. Solo acuérdense yeah. en la conversación de hacerle la corrección, ¿verdad? Que decimos next Saturday morning, no next Saturday in the morning. Ok. Um, I start. Ok. Um, we will use the chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says, major task of the position and service are in charge of handling food correctly and process time payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday morning. I will organize uh, everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. Si gusta, ahora cambiamos el, el rol. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training need of or new server it says major task of the positions ah servers are in share of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly don't forget servers have to be friendly i think we need to help them with that grooming and um, personal appearance uh, they look a bit messy Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. Okay. Complete uh, number three part. No sé. Mayor task. Mayor, que no es mayor, pero sí como... No, no. Ahí Tarea viene. principal, dice. It says mayor task of uh -huh. the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, servers have to be friends. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. Okay, so. Bye. Oh. Right. Ahora yo sería Diego, vea. Uh -huh. Bye. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It's a major task of the position. 
uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short train next, next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and just send them an email to let them know. Vaya, solo hay un pedacito que yo no entiendo bien, fíjese. Cuando dice Stacy, it is major task of the position. Vaya, al principio, we will use the chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. Pero no entiendo por qué le dice que la mayor... Teacher, no entiendo. It says mayor... That's the most important task. Mm -hmm. La de analyze the training needs. Ah, ok, ok. Bueno, vamos a ver cuál es el, aquí que es lo que nos piden. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Dice, complete the training needs analysis. 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 Chart, ah, complete the training needs analysis chart using the information from the box. Check your answers with a classmate. So, vamos a ver, dice que handling credit cards, it's difficult for me. <clears throat> Kitchen manager, practical training in restaurants during off hours. Grooming and personal appearance. Serve orders by picking up and delivering patrons. Mm -hmm. Choices from bar and kitchen. Ah, siguiendo la, la, como la forma en la que se debe de hacer. Jimmy mm -hmm. Marshall, September, Saturday 10. So dice, employee name. Training skills needed. Training needs analysis done by Stacy Door. Major task of the position. Training need skills needed. Vea, esa era la, la más importante. Yes. Vale, la vamos a marcar. Pero me lo voy a marcar aquí con este porque yo no tengo el actualizado mi. Okay, esta cosa. Date, la, de, la fecha de hoy. Maybe. Ah, no, September, Saturday 10, vea. Uh -huh. No tiene, ¿cómo escribir? ¿Cómo no? Aquí. Ah, ya le entendí. Con la información del cuadro. Vamos a llenar. Vamos a llenar. Ay, señor, Dios mío. Estamos en inglés, por eso. <ríe> My God. No, la ticha ya nos va a decir, Dios mío, ni. <ríe> de aquí dice, ve. Using the information from the box. Ay, es que como no, ve salvadoreño, ticha, no leemos indicaciones. <ríe> <ríe> y menos en inglés. <ríe> Bye. Ahora dice, organizer provider es don, don Jimmy Marshall, vea. Uh -huh. Aquí le pongo. Pero... Hola, Stacy. Mm -hmm. Stacy, ya está aquí. Stacy es de TNA Don. Don't buy. ¿Quién está haciendo el teacher's training? El, el training needs analysis es de Stacy. Ese ya está aquí. Esa no la va a mover. Lo que va a ocupar son los que están aquí arriba. Ajá. Uh -huh. Jimmy Marshall. Jimmy Marshall. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jimmy, Ma Jimmy Marshall. Marshall. Maybe the manager. Espérame, 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 espérame. Training solution. Ah, uh, no es kitchen manager. Uh -huh. 
Mm. Pero hay donde dice Training Solutions. Porque para mí Organizer eh, Provider que... no, no, no sería el nombre de alguien, sería algo en específico. Exacto. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo, Rosy? ¿Cómo dijo? <risa> es que on a organize, Organizer Provider es como... Tenemos que ver si es literal. A y no, no es un nombre de alguien. Ajá. Okay. Ese, esa es la personal. Yes. But in the handling credit cards and difficult is difficult for me. Can be a answer for these questions. What other areas would you would you like to improve? And the answer handling credit cards credit cards is difficult for me um, maybe i think where would you put that uh, what? where would you put where would you put handling credit cards is difficult for me in uh, what other areas would you like, you like to improve, to improve? Mm -hmm. yeah That's yeah good. Okay. I have um, I don't know in, in the training solution teacher can be grooming in a personal appearance or practical training in restaurant during off hours I will, I will say let it see let her see Leather C is okay. Yeah. She has practical training in restaurant during uh -huh. of hours. Uh-huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Can you use all the letters, teacher? Mm, I would say so. For example, in the major tasks of the position, you can put more than one. Mm -hmm. More than one. Oh. Can be okay, let's have e, letter E and letter D. In the morning, I will organize everything as you send them and you may let them now. Yo y Guacarla. Yo también. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Que estamos compartiendo aquí en la ah, okay. en oficina. Sí. Están juntos ahí. Ah. Sí, trabaja, trabajando y aquí. <ríe> <ríe> y en clase. <ríe> ah, que toca de salir tarde del trabajo. Ah. Sí, es cierto. Sí. Sí. ¿Cómo es que escucho a Carla? <ríe> ok. Sí. And, um, so, in, in the major task of the position can be the letter E and the letter D. D. Ajá. Grooming and personal appearance and set orders. Oh, oh, you know what? Uh -huh. is that they look messy, right? Uh -huh. That can be another area where they need to improve. So you may have two areas that they need to improve. The letter A uh -huh. and the letter D. Exactly. Okay. So they look messy, so they have to learn how to 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 be organized, to look okay. organized. And the organizer or provider, that's kitchen maid. Kitchen maid. Uh -huh. the, kitchen kitchen maid. maid. the provider. Okay. Mm -hmm. Provider. Okay. Kitchen manager. Be okay, that's all. And you have to complete this part where it says training skills needed. This one. Mm -hmm. Skills needed. Yes or no? Yes. 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 And you have to complete the date too. Yes. Yes. September, Saturday. Saturday 10. 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. This is the, the, the right uh, form to read the date. September, Saturday, 10. 
Um, oh. Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday, September 10th. 10th. Oh, Saturday, September 10th. Saturday, first you say the day. Uh -huh. Then the month and then the number of the day. Saturday, September 10th. Mm -hmm. I stop. Okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Bueno, I'm going to check one one next group and then I call you back. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. You well, It was a little difficult. Really. A lot of analysis. <laughs> But we don't know if, if we are correct in our answers. Vaya. Uh, I want you to pay attention to the major tasks are the tasks that the person or the the the, the people the servers here see the tasks but, that the people in the, the in the training have to do what are I, the tasks that they do i understand that says that uh, the people that is gonna be on on the training are the servers right uh -huh. and servers are in charge of handling food correctly and process the payment correctly right okay so mm -hmm. with for that we think that those are the major tasks of the position. Mm -hmm. Even here, here's, there's here, okay, says that it's difficult for me. I think Jimmy Marshall said that, right? Or no? Uh huh. But if he says that that's difficult for him, what would you do? Is that a task? Is that a responsibility? Or is that an area to improve? Oh, it could be an area. Mm -hmm. Okay. But. And if they look messy? Is, uh -huh. okay, so it's así entonces. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because the responsibility of the major task that they have is oh. the deli delivery. Aquí, cheque delivery, eh, Adriana. Where did you? Delivery. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Delivery. Y le quita el in. Uy, espera, I can't, I can't. Oh, it's the puzzle. Delivering. Ahorita. Delivery. Eh, solo Y. O delivery. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. No me deja. Ahí está. No, y no. es normal. Ay, es cierto, es cierto. Así, ¿verdad? No, 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 no es así. Sorry. Delivering. No. Uy, no, ¿qué? ¿Y dónde está? está? Ahí, ¿Qué anda haciendo? ¿Eh? <risa> Qué vergüenza. Ahí está. Delivering. Ahí. Delivering uh -huh. patrons choices from bank kitchen. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. That means that they have to pick up the, the, the customer's order and they have to deliver the orders. Uh -huh. from the kitchen. Pero they look messy. O sea, ya andan con la camisa toda de fuera, andan todo. Uh -huh. Y me chui. Ah. <laughs> well, Ay, yes. Me imagino. Because grooming, grooming is to, ya le voy a leer la definición for grooming. The way you look the nice. things that you do to make your appearance clean and neat. Okay. For example, brushing your hair, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. Cleaning clothes, washing your face. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so that that is that is groom. Okay. Tiene otro significado, vea, que no es el de nuestro contexto ahorita. Mm -hmm. Pero, ajá, el que nosotros podemos retomar es eso. Bro, like eh, getting or trying to look neat. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a little difficult. I, I told you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Yo me los llevaré ya. Ok, teacher, thank you. Welcome. Ok, ok. Vamos a ver. First, first, I would like to have a couple of volunteers. Bueno, cuando vengan todos. A couple of volunteers to read the conversation. ¿Quién me falta? Qué poquito, Juan. Hoy sé poquito, miren. Hoy sí nos afectaron los, pueblos, los polvos del Sahara, el viernes, el tráfico, la lluvia. Qué barbaridad. Vaya. Hay need volunteers. Volunteers, volunteers. Only me two. Sir. Ok, Rosy and Ana. Me. Partner, right? Ok, perfect. Ok, ok, ok. I'm okay. going to be Diego Rossi. Okay. Vaya. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position. Uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, two more volunteers. Uh-huh. Me, teacher. Carlos and me. Karen, Janet. ¿Y quién fue el otro me? Me. Va, go ahead. Who begins? Con Karen? Yes. Okay. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new server. <laughs> it says major task of the position a server are in charge of handling food correctly and processes payment correctly. Mm -hmm. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training. Next Saturday morning, I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Excellent. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Okay, this is the training needs analysis, right? The chart of the training needs analysis that uh, you were completing. Now tell me, uh, what is the employee's name? Jimmy Marshall. Uh-huh. Employee's name. <gasps> the employee's name is Jimmy Marshall. 
bueno, team, eh, Zoom. Ahí está. Ah, ok, sí, ya lo había puesto. Va. Ok, that's Jimmy Marshall, right? Eh, what are the major tasks of the position? Mm -hmm. yes. What are the major tasks? Server. Serve order. Server order. Picking up mm -hmm. and delivery patrons. Yes. This one. And? Uh -huh. Yes. Grooming and personal appearance. Uh, is grooming a major task or is a necessity? Necessity, teacher. Mm -hmm. Because if you see, it says that they look messy. <laughs> they look messy, so they need to improve that area. A ver. They need to improve that area because I come on, move, move, move. What is grooming? Hmm? What is grooming? Limpieza, aseo. Sí, peinarse. Right, cleaning. Looking neat, looking clean. No messy, right? I imagine when they were talking the conversation, I was, I have very good imagination, and I was think I was imagining the the waiter with the hair very messy and very uh, lustrous in the face, and with the shirt out of the pants and like that, right? So if the if the servers look messy, hmm. You will think that probably the food is not clean and you won't want to buy in that place, right? But if the servers look neat, you will feel more like eating in that place. Okay, what is another, another area to improve here? There is one more area to improve, which? Handling credit cards. Uh-huh, exactly. Yes. Yes, right, handling. Because they say that handling credit cards is difficult for them. And if something is difficult for you, you need to improve it, right? Okay. So we will have those two things. Uh, tell me. They need training, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Training news. We already put yes. Uh, what is the date? September Saturday 10th. Saturday, September 10th. Exactly. Yes. Talking <laughs> about the date, the date, if you see, is not correct. Cosa que no me extraña con este manual, ¿verdad? Pero bueno. So you say, Saturday. First you say the date, then you say the month, and then the number of the day. Okay, Saturday, September 10th. See? That's why I did this. Because you cannot say September, Saturday, 10th. Mm -mm. Y en español, ¿cómo se dice? Y en español se dice en ese orden. Así es que no. Definitely no possible. But who's the organizer? Kitchen manager. Mm -hmm. The kitchen manager is the organizer. <laughs> Did we use everything? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. So check. Employee's name, Jimmy Marshall. Training skills needed. Yes. 
um, trainee solution. Trainee solution. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're missing one. Yeah, yeah. What is the training solutions? Practical, Practical training, training in restaurant during a course. Okay. Um, yes. They will have practical training because they need to know how to how to to charge right using a credit card and the only place where they can do it is there when the people are using a real credit card to pay. That's why uh, the training will be there in the workplace. Yeah. So you have major tasks of the position, serve orders by picking and delivering patterns, choices from bank kitchen. The training solutions, practical training in restaurant during off hours. So it means not during the time they are working, not while they have a customers, right? It's in those, in that dead time, we can say. Imagine uh, if the restaurant sells lunches, we will probably have a, a key. People entering at 10, then a good time for training will be from nine to 10 right, or from 8.30 to 9.30 before you open the restaurant, okay? And then the other areas that they would like to improve, handling credit cards and grooming personal, grooming and personal appearance. Okay, who's the organizer with them? That's the kitchen. Who's the organizer? The kitchen manager. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any questions here? No question. Nope. Nice. No okay. question, teacher. Okay. Well, well, now we are going to talk about the future. Future with will. When do we use will? Hmm? In future, simple. We use will to talk about future, right? We use will for many other things like making predictions. But in this time, uh, we are going to use it just for, for talking about future. Check. You can use the complete uh, form saying I will or I'll if you want to. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to use the contraction. I'll stay at home. You will stay at home. He will stay at home. So something uh, important about this structure is that it doesn't matter the, the, ten, uh, the, the subject, right? Or the noun, no, okay, the pronoun you're using, but the structure goes exactly the same. See? It's something that we always worry when we start uh, when we study the present simple is thinking about he, she, it. But when you use will, it doesn't matter what person you use, it will always follow the same structure, right? Remember, you have the subject, you have the will contracted or complete, and then the verb in infinitive without to. This uh, will behaves like a model. Remember that after models, we do not use to. And after will is the same. We do not use a uh, to after will. Bueno, I'm going to make a pause right now to call the attendance. And then we continue, okay? Before I forget, Okay. Uh, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David. David, David. 
Diego Vázquez. Present, present teacher, perdón, que no hay señal casi por donde voy. Ok, ok. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Elda. Elmer Fabricio. Gema Carolina. Gema Gema. Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Rebeca. Rodrigo. Grace Michelle. No, verdad. Basha, Rosy. Present. Luis Mauricio, no. Ok, well, we continue. Qué poquitos hay. Ya me van a decir otra vez, ¿por qué viernes, teacher? <laughs> ok. <clears throat> bueno, let's go back. Remember, we're talking about the future. Yes. Now, let's talk about the future with will, but in negative. Yes. When, we, when we're talking about negative, about a will, but in negative, we can use the contraction saying won't or will not. Remember that we use the complete uh, structure, especially when we want to make emphasis or when we want to be formal, right? If you want to be formal or you want to make emphasis, you use it complete. If no, you can use a contractor. So you say, I will not travel this summer. Yeah, so check the pronunciation. I will not travel this summer. I won't travel this summer. So you, uh, you give more emphasis when you are giving the complete sentence, right? The same, you can choose any of the pronouns to make your sentence and it definitely will not change, right? And the structure is subject, won't or will not, depending on the case, how formal you want to be. And then the infinitive without to. So you say, I will travel or I won't travel. You cannot say, I want to travel. That's not possible. So we use no to, just the infinitive. <clears throat> now, when you want to make a question using will, what you do is that you put will at the beginning. So you say, will I go to school in June? Will she go to school in June? So I use will, then the subject, and after that, the verb, right? The verb in infinity, or in base form, as you want to say. But you can also make a question about future using a double, a double question, right? Or a question word. Then you say, for example, when, when will you or when will he go to school? When will you go to school? Oh, I will go to school in June. See, when will you go to school? When will I go to school? When will they go to school? So you say, when will, you, when will we start the next course? See? When will we? When will you start the next course? Do you know? When, Rosie? Um, August? No. Tentative. 
July 25th. Haha, <laughs> no long vacation. So you will have <coughs> tentative time is July 25th. So when will you start the next course? We will, there is something that we can use when we use will, and it's uh, that word probably. So you can say, we will probably start next course on July 25th, yeah? We will probably. We use we will probably when we are not very sure. Well, uh, things we use will, you know, we are not talking about a future that is 100% accurate, right? So it may happen, may not. When you use will, you're talking a few about a future that may or not happen, see? So, but if you add the word probably, that makes it still less uh, secure, right? Now, <clears throat> look at these words. Um, you're going to make a question or a, where the answer is this. I will go shopping next Monday. Can you make the question? Remember the structure we were just talking about how when, questions, right? Uh huh. When will you go to the bus? When will you when go? Shopping. Go? Shopping, exactly. When will you go shopping? Yes. A ver, the next one. I will go shopping next Monday. Now, you have to ask for, the, well, the answer to your question now will be go shopping. What question do you need to make? What will you go next Monday? What will you? Do. Do. Uh-huh. What will you do next Monday? I will go shopping next Monday, right? Or where where will you go next Monday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where will you go next Monday? I will go shopping. Yes. We have one more question. The answer is a Billy Eilish. And you have Billy Eilish won't play any concerts this summer. What's the question? Where will you go shopping? When we, no, the when next we, we, My we, answer we. is Billy Eilish. Oh. Does, does Will Billy Eilish play a, any concert this summer? Remember, you we, Will in your question? Why? Why who will who will no who will not have concert this summer? Who won, right? You can make a negative question. Who won't play any concerts this summer? Who? Remember, we, we're looking for this answer, right? Who won't play any concert this summer? Billy Eilish. What will you do next Monday? Go shopping. When will you go shopping? Next Monday. Mm -hmm. Just imagine that you're giving a short answer there to your question, right? So Billy Eilish won't play any concerts. Remember when you're making a question with will, or you're making a question about the future, the auxiliary that you will make that you will use in your question is will or in this case won't right that's your auxiliary and then the verb has to be in the base form <clears throat> yeah that's the form of the verb it has to be in present oh sorry in base form right it has to be in base form or what they call infinitive without two 
Is that clear for you? Do you have any questions so far? Question? No, teacher. Okay. Now look at the manual. You have a some, we were talking about will to talk about future, right? We were using it just to talk about future. We can also use will to make predictions when. For example, we can predict that many people will get allergies. People who are delicate from the skin or from their throat or whatever will get allergies because of the polvos del Sahara that are coming, right? People will get allergy. So that's a prediction we can make, see? We don't know if that will happen or not. So I'm making a prediction. Um, for example, when you see the news, right? The weather forecast, and you listen to the presenter saying, it will rain tomorrow. When I turn on my computer, I see here, it's cloudy. We are at 26 degrees Celsius, or it is a, like some rain, it will rain. So we have predictions, right? We make predictions about different ways. Uh, at the beginning of the year, people usually make predictions. But these predictions that we use uh, or that we make with will are predictions based on nothing. So that those are things that may happen or not. So you say, uh, Pedrito Fernandez will marry again next year. How do I know? Well, I don't know. I'm just making a prediction. Yes. So when I make a prediction, I just predict it. And you can see the witch with the ball, right? Like you will get, you will get married with a millionaire, right? You will have three children. You will meet the love of your life. So you see the, the ball. Right? But those are predictions based on nothing, right? Based on nothing. So when we talk about the weather forecast, predictions about the weather forecast, we use will because things change and sometimes they don't happen, right? And that's why we use will for making uh, predictions about the weather. And look at the examples. I think a famous chef will come to the event. I think, and when you see this word, I think that means, that's my opinion. Will that happen? Who knows? Probably yes, probably no, right? The manager will prepare a new training for hosts. You will see. We have a day off next week. We will have a training. <laughs> we make that prediction, right? So we have a day off next week. So we will have a training for that day. So those are predictions. Also, when we talk about a will, we can use will for decisions that you make like this, right? We can, we call them on a spot decision. And on a spot decision is a decision that I make in the moment. Imagine I'm walking in a mall, right? Just hanging around because I'm bored because I wanted to go out, so whatever, right? But I am walking in the mall. <clears throat> and then I see a pair of shoes. And I decide in that moment that I want to buy them. Yes. So that is a decision made in the moment, made a, a spontaneously. See? 
You can also, uh, well, in that case, you say customers are complaining about slow service. Hmm. But somebody tells you, you know what, Nubia? Customers are complaining about the, the slow service. And Nubia says, I will talk to the staff. Yeah. I will tell them to hurry up. I will tell them to run or to do things faster. Yeah. That server just spilled the soup on the customer. <gasps> uh oh, I will call the manager. Right. Before the customer gets angry, you say, uh uh, I'll call the manager. But you did the decision in the moment. Right. If you uh, make the decision before, like I'm going to go to the mall, but I have made a decision that is to buy a pair of shoes, but I decided before leaving, in that case, I cannot use will in my decision. In that case, I will have to use going to because I decided before. But when I make uh, when I make a decision spontaneously, I use will. Yeah. Also, another case when you use will is to make a promise. Remember when you were a child and you promised lots of things to your mother? <laughs> I will do my homework, mama. Please let me go play. I will do the homework. I will help you wash the dishes, promises. Next time I will study harder, promise. So if you make a promise, you use will, right? Also, if you offer somebody help, you use will. For example, if you say, um, imagine you see somebody with lots of bags, right? Walking, you say, don't worry, I'll help you. I'll help you. You're making an offer. And for making that offer, you just will, right? Or if you see it is very hot in the room, you say, I'll open the windows, yeah? Or if you see somebody's very cold, it's like, then you say, don't worry, I'll close the door for you, right? So when you offer something, you just will. When you make a promise, you just will. When you make a, a spontaneous a decision, we use will. To make predictions based on something or nothing, we use will. And also when you talk about the future, like a, a, a future that is not very sure, right? We use will. If we're talking about a future where we know exactly uh, what is going to happen, we use going to. But if we are not very sure, we use will. Yeah? And look at the examples here. I will be there at 9 a.m. That's a promise, right? I will be there at 9 a.m. I will be early. I will come back home before midnight. Promise. But if you say, I will help you prepare the documents for the training. That's an offer. I will help you wash the dishes, mommy. That's an offer, right? Okay, any questions here? Teacher, I have a little question. Tell me. When little. you talk about future, you can use will and you can use- Going to. Going to, but when you use present, going- present to. Ah, Okay, but- but when you use going to, you are making a, or, or I mean, your will is for something that you could or would do. But going to is something that you are saying that you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. It could be like that. Yes. So if you um, have the future plans, for example, you say, um, I'm going to study at the university next semester you know for sure, right? Then you say, I'm going to. 
I'm going to study at the university next semester. But if you think you will study, but maybe next semester or next year, so I'm not sure, then you say I will. I will study at the, at the university. When? Probably next semester or next year. But I will study at the university one day. Yes. So I have the plan. What is not very sure is when will that happen? Yeah. So we can use it to talk about future. For example, if I ask you, hey, what are you going to do on the weekend? You say, well, I haven't made a decision yet, so I don't know. Well, I will, and that's why I was telling you before, with will, we can even use probably, right? But with going to, you cannot say I'm going to probably. Uh -uh, that's not possible. But with will, you can use probably. You can say, I will probably, okay. I will probably stay home, right? I will probably watch television on Sunday afternoon. I will probably go shopping in the morning, shopping for food for the week. I will probably, I'm not very sure. I know I will go shopping, but I'm, I don't know if I will go shopping tomorrow afternoon or Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon. I don't know. Yes. But you know that will happen. So you have the plan, right? You have the plan, but you don't know exactly when. But when you know that something for sure will happen, you just go into. Yes. And later on, we are going to talk about present progressive. And we can use the present progressive also to talk about future. But the difference, the difference is that when you use the present progressive to talk about future, you're talking about a very near future. Yes. Will is a, a distant future, something that will happen. We don't know exactly when, but will, will happen, right? But if we use, I'm going to move and then, then we will come back here. Check. When we use present progressive to talk about future, I'm going to move you here. When we use the present progressive, we talk about plans, right? Plans and arrangements, but the arrangements, arrangements son arreglos, right? That have been made. So if I say, I'm flying to Los Angeles, for a conference, I'm very sure, right? I have everything ready to go to Los Angeles for the conference. And I say, I'm, I'm having a party next weekend. I have the invitations done. I have prepared everything. I have the room or the place where I'm going to do it. Um, I have everything ready. Right? That's why we say arrangements, but that's person progressive. See? So if you say, I'm, I'm eating pupusas after class, the pupusas have just arrived, right? They have just arrived. So I have, I know, right? I know. And I'm talking about a very near future. I'm eating pupusas after class. I'm teaching a class tomorrow morning. I know. And I'm, I'm talking here about a near future. This is a near future. When you want to play, uh, play safe, instead of using the present progressive, you can perfectly use a going to. You say, I play safe. No me quiero equivocar usando el present continuous si tengo que usar present continuous o, o, o going to. Entonces voy a usar going to. Eso se, se llama play safe, irse a lo seguro. 
right? But if you use the, if you want to follow the rules of the, the grammar rules and go like, Okay, I'm talking about a near future. I'm talking about plans and arrangements that I know will happen. I use present progress. See, and I'm not talking here about something I'm doing at the moment. I'm talking about future, but a near, very close future. So you say the servers are having a training this weekend, this weekend, I'm not using a present progressive to talk about something that will happen next year. It's too far. A menos que fuera 31 de diciembre, ¿verdad? Pero si no, no. Because next year is too far. We're still missing six months. No, ¿verdad? Five. Ajá, five months for next year, but still too far. But if we're talking about tomorrow at six, I can use the present continuous. Remember, present continuous or present progressive es lo mismo, ¿verdad? He's meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. See? The servers are having a training this weekend. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference, for the, este de, me dice a mí que ya todo el mundo sabe a qué conferencia nos referimos. Because we're not saying for a conference, sino que for the conference. O sea, es una conferencia que ya todo el mundo sabe que se va a llevar a cabo en Los Ángeles. Then the manager is flying to Los Ángeles for the conference. Yes? And again, going to Will. It is used to talk about future intentions. Tengo la intención. Pasará, no pasará, quién sabe. But the intention is there. I will help with these documents. ¿Qué sería este? An spontaneous offer, a promise, or a decision. I will help with these documents. Hmm? What is it? An offer, yeah, that's an offer. Uh, they will ask about e-learning options. What is it? Promise. Prediction. A prediction. So, yeah, yo ya sé que va a preguntar. For example, when we go on a training, at the end, the trainings always finish like okay, 10 minutes before the time, right? And the presenter says, do you have any questions? Everybody tired after a, one hour and a half saying, no, 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 no. And there is always somebody that you know will ask questions. <laughs> and you say like, ay, ya decía yo. So it's that one, right? Making that prediction. They will ask about e-learning options. So, ay, fulanito will ask a question. I know. Yeah. I know I'm making a prediction because I know that that person will always ask. Okay. What is this one? We will be on time. It's a promise. Promise. That's a promise. Perfect. That's a promise. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> no me digan este no como para terminar ya. Porque no se vale. <laughs> Any questions? No? No questions. No? Perfect. Vámonos pues. A ver. A ver. Vaya. We will do this exercise. It says, don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. Mm -hmm. That is a promise, right? Don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. What about number two? Well, I'm going to give you two minutes for you to complete the sentences and then we check together.
Okay, are you done? Yes, yes, yes. Finished. Finish, finished. <coughs> yes, not teacher. No yet. Okay, a ver, I'm sure you. You will have mm -hmm. a good time at the training. Okay. Next, number three, the training needs analysis. Will be. Will be a success. Mm -hmm. Teacher, la dos está bien así. We have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you're sure. Oh, okay. Remember that right now, yo me adelanté a, a lo de mañana. Ahorita so, todo es will. Okay. Me adelanté porque justo en la tarea a ustedes ya les sale will and going to. Bueno, will, will y, 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 y present progressive. Por eso me adelanté allí para la explicación. Para que puedan adelantar y no se me atrase, ¿verdad? Vaya, number four. I promise. I will do. Will do. I promise I'll do my best. For in the evaluation. Number five. One she be. won't be. She won't be late. <coughs> one, one, one be. She pro she won't be late to the meeting. Number two, the manager. We work. We work. Manager will work hard to help us. Okay. Questions. No questions. 
No question. No question. Perfect. Vaya, check it. What are you going to do now? Here, you're going to role play. Create a basic training needs analysis, like the conversation you were uh, practicing at the beginning, and like the chart that you were completing, right? Take turns to complete the chart with a partner and choose an area of performance you need to improve at work. It will depend on the on the work that you have, right? So in what area do you need to improve? Discuss the chart with your classmates and what is the most popular training solution among your peers, right? So I'm going to send you to the rooms. Remember, create a basic trainings, need analysis, y después cuando me lo presenten, me lo van a presentar así como una mini conversation, como que están platicando de, del training, ok, that you, that you will do. Any question there? Yes, no teacher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, ¿verdad? Vayamos. When we were at the rooms, we will we will have questions. I know. I know, I know. Creo que vamos en grupos de tres. Sí. Very nice, very nice. Da, 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 da. Jose Alfredo, hello. Vamos a mover a Jose Alfredo para que no nos quede. Eh, dos oyentes juntos. Bye, vámonos. Try to join. Okay, Carla, it's okay. Vamos a TNA. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué área? Este. An area. Performance you need to improve at work. In English. I don't know. <laughs> ¿Tiene para compartir? No, hoy no. Hoy no. No. Ok. Bueno, conversation. Uh -huh. uh, No. Tendría que ser similar al ejercicio de la página anterior con lo de. ¿Ah? de tendría que ser similar, le digo así, de, de, de como ver en qué área. Eh, sí, correcto. Ah, no sé. ¿En qué área trabaja usted? Construcción. 
Ok, ¿qué podemos? Podría ser ¿Hola? en el área de... Sí, podría ser en el área de como de oficina técnica, digamos para, ajá, hay unos software que son para, difu, para dibujo de planos, uh -huh. por ejemplo han salido unos últimos programas que ya no solo es que usted dibuja el plano, sino que lo une con, con la programación de trabajo, y le identifica cada pieza de, de, digamos, en una columna, cuánta varilla lleva, qué número de varillas, eh, la longitud y todo, y le organiza en qué momento la tiene que pedir, en qué momento la tiene que colocar. O sea, es, aparte de dibujar plano, es como un cronograma de las actividades. Como para, para ¿cómo se llama? Es como para gerenciar un proyecto. Entonces, este podríamos podría poner: ser. We will need to create a training plan for new employees. In the, the software, se llama BIM, B I M. Podría ser a los nuevos empleados encargados del software, solo así. No, digamos a los nuevos empleados en el área de, de oficina técnica o de dibujo, de dibujo de planos. No es dibujo de planos, of drawing plans. Drawing plans, sí. Okay. La deficiencia, Ajá. pero de un grupo en especial, no. Digamos que nuevos empleados, deficiencia. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Deficiencia de los nuevos empleados. Entonces sería como, hello Karen, how you already identify the deficiencia of the employees? Uh -huh. Y ya me respondería usted si ya, si ya o si todavía no. Poner... Ajá, me voy a poner Janet yo y te ponga a secar. <risa> ¿Cómo se va a poner usted? Janet. <risa> ah, ok, ok. Oh, Karen yeah. uno, Karen dos. <risa> Al fin no va a tocar. Bye. 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 Yo, yo le voy a decir yes. Uh, I will prepare Uh -huh. I will prepare it to report. I will, I will do a report. Prepare. 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 Prepare, prepare to report. Uh, Sería. Uh -huh. I think. I think we will organize. We will organize a. Uh, okay. A. Uh, ¿Cómo es que se llama? A train. A train. With the new co-worker, co-worker, co co uh -huh. with the new co-worker. I knew uh, change the B for N. Come on. And with, with uh -huh. the new uh -huh. New coworker dice Ajá. la B por la Ah, N. es cierto. The new... Uy. With the new. Yes, it is true. I think we will organize a training with the new coworker. And it's. Uy, no hay que le pasa. New coworker. 
and we are a schedule for the next okay for the next Saturdays mm -hmm. on the month for make a good job for make a good job vengo viene usted y me dice ok Adriana let's do it Thanks for your help. Your help. Y agrega, you're welcome. Sure. Leámoslo si quiere, a ver si. Sí, solo en, en welcome hay una O de más. Uy, sí. Ahí está. Vale, ahí está. Quiero ver, ok. Si quiere leer los celos. Le quito el... Is... Execute as is to provide. Provide. Provide a quality service. A quality. No, a quality, de calidad, de ah. con cu quality. Mm -hmm. U -A -L -E -A. Ah, quality. Quality service. No, 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 pero, 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 pero. Quality service. Ah, sí, ahí está Karen. Ups. Sí, es que Karen Stephanie se salió. Pero, ¿verdad que ella está de oyente, Karen Dianet, o no? No. No. Ay, la no, cosa... no sé, es que me ay no sé, de repente aparece aquí. <risa> no es que no. yo la moví porque Karen Stephanie de repente desapareció del grupo. Y David ay. no logró entrar, entonces Karen me había quedado solita. Ok. Ah, y Karen ya no entró, tiche. ya no. Y dice que después Karen entró, por eso yo la devolví al grupo y para cuando la mandé, Karen se volvió a salir. Por eso la volví a jalar para acá. Ok. Ok. A quality service. A quality service to our customer para nuestros clientes. So, our customer. All, all customers. All. Yes. Yes, it is. All. Exactly. All you uh, are. Our customer. Mm, así está bien escrito. No Cost tumors, yes. Okay. This is the the major task or the main task. And uh -huh. Uh, 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 uh. And, 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 and to give to give them the them. Uh -huh. and to give them uh -huh, the correct information the right information right <laughs> uh, correctly attention oh, yeah Uh, the right in, uh, yes, yes. Vaya. The, eh, oh, sí. Oh, sí. Uh -huh. una corrección a customer. Uh -huh. Customer, así como lo ha escrito, es una persona que compra disfraces. Uh -huh. Pero customer, así es, la primera es U y la segunda es O. Pronunciation customer, right? Pero el spelling is U and después O. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Correctly, you have to hear that. See the or the right information. The right. The right. I see. Uh, right. Yeah. Ah, no, 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 no
Right. Information. Okay. O una I. <laughs> right. The right information. Okay. Ahora, uh, Diego, you said don't forget server to friendly. Creo que tiene que ver. Okay. Creo que esa frase la podemos reutilizar. Don't forget eh, executive have to be friendly because we're talking about customer service. Don't forget executive have to be friendly. Okay. What did that mean? I don't understand. <laughs> You can say it in Spanish, don't worry. Sí, bueno, trabajo en un banco, entonces por, por tema de regulación eh, tenemos que tener planes de contingencia operativa en un montón de áreas. Tecnología, en operaciones, eh, temas de infraestructura también, proyectos de infraestructura, un montón de cosas. But uh, oh, yes. we we will we need uh, we have to make the TNA using this conversation. Oh. Tenemos que hacer el cuadrito con esta conversación que ah. queremos hacer. Ah, okay. Basado en la esto. ficha, la ficha. Exacto, el TNA, el el análisis. Okay. Lo vamos a hacer exactamente como está acá abajo, pero apegado a la conversación que nosotros tuvimos. Exacto. Okay. Pero la, la. Que nos acabamos de inventar así con. Sí, correcto. Sí, lo que okay. acabamos de inventarnos ahorita. O sea. Ok, perfecto. <risa> Employee name. Ajá. Carlos Josué. No, yes. tiene que ser otro. Porque Carlos Josué está platicando conmigo. Ah, tiene que ser Ana Alicia. Ah, Alicia. Ajá. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Ana Ali, Alicia. Analcia. Análisis iba a poner. <laughs> Bye. Training skills needed. Mm. Ah, la voy a pegar. We were saying that, that we need. Ahí solo es yes or not, ¿verdad? En training sí, skills. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ahí solo es yes or not. Yes. Yes. TNA done by Stacy Dar. Well, could be from Jose Alberto Ahí o no Carlos Josué. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ajá, José Alberto. No, yes. Carlos Josué tiene más experiencia. <risa> Carlos Josué Paz Casio Where your last name come from? Perdón Where your last name come from? Uh, no sé Mi papá es salvadoreño <risa> I never heard That last name. Never. Mm, sí, ever. Es, es, es muy poco común. Ni mi idea. Really. Pascasio. Ok. Ok. Mayor task of the position. The date. Lo que puso arriba, arriba ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ah. Mayor task of the positions. <laughs> Payments and handling credit cards. No, remember, remember. Mm -hmm. In the example, say that it was the kitchen manager. So could be the, how do you call the position that manager in a, remember that we have two, two positions, kitchen manager, and the other one was the executive, manager. Executive, the, manager. Exactly, executive manager. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Executive manager. Uh -huh, because you're not in a kitchen, right? Yeah. Yes. That's the pro that's the organizer. That's not the mayor task. Yeah. It's yeah. The ah, organizer. 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 
the major tasks. Executive mm. manager. Okay. The date we said that we are going to do it on next next Monday. Monday. Monday will be today is Friday 15. So will be Monday 18. Monday 18. But it's too soon because we have to prepare the the training. So could be next uh, Monday 25. Okay. The 25th. Ah, 25th teacher, so sorry. <laughs> July, Monday. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, 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 Monday, 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 Monday. Yes, 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 Monday. Monday, July 25th. Uh -huh. Monday, July. For that day, we, we are you ready. Wait. I will... We will be ready. Mm -hmm. You need a comma. Comma. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, my task of the position, if we watch at the... If we watch at the conversation, we were saying that the math has position, a process in payments, payments, correctly in handling credit cards. In handling credit cards. Mm -hmm. Are you agree? You agree. Do you uh, excuse me? I agree. Do you agree? Do, Do you agree? agree? Okay. So I agree. I agree too. Okay. Uh, training solutions. Oh, training solutions. Uh, it, we say it, that it, I, I think it's the same. Practical training in Customer services and personal appearance. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Es oh, register. ¿Cómo sería? Bueno, en el, practical ah, training. En ejemplo, in register. Of hours. Entonces, practical training in. Tendría que ser en el restaurante o en donde. Cash register. Uh -huh. Do you work in a restaurant? I think, yeah. Yes, we were talking about yes. the cashiers in a restaurant. And the training must be in the restaurant. Okay. Pra practical training at the restaurant. Or in restaurant. Y cambiaron el mayor task, dejaron el mismo de la conversación que habíamos estado practicando. Ah. No, teacher, we change it a little bit. No. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, but I have uh, other, but. We this... add a little bit. For no, uh, handling credit cards. Ahí estaba. No. If you watch the if you watch the the conversation, they say that they had to processing payments correctly. In the example, now we have um. What is that? Can you see it? I underline no. or espérame, lo voy a lo voy a vale, lo voy a volver a compartir para que lo vea la teacher. That was this is in the book. Can you change the credit card? Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ok. Bueno, me lo voy a llevar, fíjense, porque ya son la Oh, my goodness. Ten. Yes, yes. But we continue look, the Monday. Teacher, but already, uh, can you see the conversation? We changed it a little bit, and I think we were working a little bit fast. <laughs> Fastest. Be ready, be ready for Monday. Okay, okay. okay. Or Tuesday. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we were focused, so focused. Yeah, I know. The thing is that we the, the time was very short. Okay, yeah. I am saved it and we can we can work it later, este Jose and Carlos. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Siempre vuelvo en silencio. Bueno, we're ready to go, right? On Monday, I, I'm going to listen to you with the conversations because for now, it's about time. Let me see, tell me present. Adriana Marcela. Adriana, no ha venido todavía. <coughs> Hoy sí ya vino. No. Adriana Marcela. No here, no here, no here. Ah, pues ya vinieron todo, ¿verdad? She's not here right now. Maybe she's in the rooms. Ajá. Adriana, hello. Adriana Marcelo. She's coming. Mm -hmm. Adriana, Adriana, mía, me aparece como que ya estuviera aquí. Adriana, hello. Hi, teacher. Ay, se me había dormido. No, teacher, acabo de regresar de la sala. Ay, ya nos había Diana. dejado en el olvido. No, si lo llamé, pero no se querían venir. Y así como que, vénganse, vénganse, vámonos, niños. Estaba, it was interesting, the practice. It's a lie. ¿Verdad que dormida estaba, Diego? Yes, of course. Bye, Adri. Tell me, present, Adriana Marcela. Present, teacher. Eh, Ana. Present, teacher. Carlos Josué. Present, teacher. David. Present, teacher. Diego. Present, teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present, teacher. Elda Cristina. Elmer Fabricio. No. Gemma Carolina. Jessica Lisset. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. No. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen. Oh. Present teacher. Karen y Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Dice Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca, Rebeca, no. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Ana Grisel, Carolina, Grace Michelle, Rosy, Present teacher, and Luis Mauricio. 
bueno, there we go. Hoy Grace le toca quedarse. Bueno, see you tomorrow. No, see you Monday. <laughs> see you Monday, teacher. See you Monday, teacher. <laughs> en directo, see you tomorrow now. See you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. See you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Goodbye. A dormir mucho. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Me deben mucha tarea. Es cierto. Teacher, ¿para cuándo tiene que estar terminado el examen final? Para el martes. Ok, thank you. El martes. Bye. Terminamos. Sí, martes terminamos. Ok, thank you. Así Goodbye. Es. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night, good night. <coughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, David. How are you? Ay, llegando, que este tráfico está de locos. Ay, qué tremendo. Es que viernes, sí. David. Viernes, Bien, acá. Los viernes son... Bueno, ahí está Jessica Lisset. No me contestó el present. Teacher, quería aprovechar ya que no está Grace. Dígame. Fíjese que, aunque no lo crea, en el trabajo a veces me pongo a estudiar y avanzar. Pero me encontré con la con la 4.5, uh -huh. con esta 2, y le he intentado mil y mil y una vez, y no le entiendo por qué no me da error. The kitchen manager will fly to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Súbame, súbame, este es ah, la 4.5. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el topic aquí? Es de using the will or the present progressive. Vaya. ¿Ya probó ponerle Present Progressive a la número 3? Mm, no, el Present Progressive es Flying. Is Flying. Is. Ah, creo que ahí está el detalle. Quítele la A. Ah, sí. Mira que a veces es el Spanglish. <risa> está, ah, yes. es, que es el Present Progressive. Sí, esa me imagino que también, fíjese. En Present Progressive. Uh -huh. Esa sería... Sí, porque como yeah. es un very near future. He is, isn't. <coughs> Va a ponerla así porque a veces no. Sí, no le gusta la apóstrofe, es cierto. Sí. He's not working. Working. Working, porque es progressive, ¿verdad? Exacto. Working. No. working. Pruebe poniéndole con la apóstrofe. A ver. Sí me quiere con la apóstrofe. <risa> Y quítele la O y le pone, no. Después de la N va la postre. Uy, ¿qué te pasa? Ahí está. Ah, Tampoco. Mm. Voy a copiar la apóstrofe de aquí arriba. Pues. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Sí, porque a veces es, es eso, el, el apóstrofe. No, no, no. Ya voy a ver yo. Vamos a subir, vamos a subir. Me voy a meter. Cuatro cinco, ¿verdad? Sí, cuatro cinco, te echo. Es la del, ajá, aquí está. <coughs> yo en el tráfico estuve poniendo atención al Will y yo dije, um, algo, algo estoy haciendo mal, dije, pero... Por eso me quise quedar y abusar de, de su confianza. Está bueno, está bueno. Fíjese que he's in working, pero lo que pasa es que quizá la, es la apóstrofe. Pero ya copié la de aquí arriba. Y le voy a pegar el, el isen en el chat. Ok. Pruebe ahí. No, ahorita. Porque sí está bueno. Ajá. Sí, el apóstrofe, ese es el que da problema. Ok. Ah, pues sí. Oh, ya, ya entendí. Esta sí había agarrado a llave, teacher, y no me acordaba cuál era el present progressive. 
Ajá, recuerde que el present progressive eh, lo hemos usado en cursos anteriores para hablar del presente, de algo sí. que está pasando en el momento. Lo usamos Correcto. como what is happening now y también lo usamos después en otro curso como what is happening around now. Eh, uh -huh. Cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, what are you doing? Ah, I'm, te, I'm studying English. Uh -huh. eh, probablemente en ese momento está trabajando. Correcto. Estamos hablando de around now. Pero, en el tiempo presente. Exacto. Pero hoy en el contexto que lo estamos usando es en future y es para un near future. Mm. When we talk about arrangements, ya tiene los arreglos, ya tiene todo listo, entonces se ocupa el present continuous. Por ejemplo, le diría working tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow, exactly. Okay. Y estamos hablando de un very near future, pero les decía mm -hmm. yo, el present progressive no lo puede usar para hablar del otro año. Mm -hmm. Está muy lejos, faltan cinco. Demasiado. Sí. Máximo ah. una semana. Sí, Excelente. una semana, next week, hasta allí. Pero mm -hmm. ya para decir next month, ya sería de usar will muy o lejos. Will. Uh -huh. okay. Porque ya está muy lejos. Entonces, eh, en ese caso ya no, no nos queda bien el present continuous. Pero no sonaría ya, bien. No, ya no. Uh -huh. ya no. Porque este lo usamos para future arrangements uh -huh. o para hablar de very near future. Ok. Uh -huh. En ese caso. Sí. Vaya. Muchas gracias, teacher. Bueno, ya sabe, claro que sí. Pues, feliz fin de semana. Thank you, the same. Vaya, pues, chao, pues. Bye-bye. Take care, David. Gracias.